الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته داوديال دجستيال كسر دوادا ليبان شو تدباد والبات كدا وطن قناة 6 يوليب تلفزيون كقرن كسومالي استوديسا مجالا من يابلوس قبل كمين سوتا ليبان شو تدباد والبا واحد صفي عن دوغا دا وطن قبل كم من سوتا وقناة مترو أما قناة 6 هذا با واحد كدا وندا حافظ هاجا سيدا إيدن بريري Brooklyn Park. In la iyo siddeed iyo in kabadan county ayaanu kaso galna waxanu so galna maalinta sabtida tadabada iyo bad feed nimo waxan lagu so aliya kou iyo tabanka iyo bad habi nimo. Maalinta talada dana waxanu so galna lixda iyo bar en galab nimo ayaanu so galna. Nala so gada hadaba tanamish keena marwal ba liba enshow. لیبان شو تدوات کن و حق آنکو ساقان دار نه آنگاه که قیب کل نی حفلت لغو دبال دگی یا سنت گردی سیدات اساس که دی ای کسوری کتی و هی ادا والدین تا سومالی ده امریکان که افکار قلات که دی لغوی ره دو The Somali American Parent Association ایا و حق لغو قبته مینیاپولس سنترال لایبرری و دبرتمه داونتاون که مگر دم مینیاپولس مناسبة داسي ايا وحا كسو قيب غلاي اقون يهنو وحا غرد معلمين ايو هوين كسو ماليات الكاسينا لغو سو بانديغي وحا قبطك هيا دا اي جرستي سيديت سنو ايا دو اي كسو بانديغين وحا يالا اد وفا ربادن ايو ولبا هرماركي اي غارتي هيا دن ايا لو اساسي مركي لا اركي والدين تسو مالي دا ايو وحا برشادا حق دا سيدا اي او قدن بيان هيا دن ايا او استاكتي سيدي اي والدين تو اي و کار او قاضی هیت و حبر شد و دا ایجا ایو ولی با عروف تو دا مناسبه دن آی که هلن معلمین ایو آقایی هنو ایو پرفسورین ایا آد وجو آمانی هی ادا سومالی آمریکان بارنت اسوسیشن و حقبت که دی اینه هیت مددی لاس آسی ایو هاتن و حقبت که دن ای آد ای امو جیان و که داد کی که هلن مناسبه داشتن هذل دو دا و حکمی دها سیدتن So we want to take a few minutes while we're all gathered here tonight um, to hear from some guest speakers, including our executive director, the chair of our board, uh, and to give you some pro uh, program updates from the last year of our work. So once again, thank you so much to everyone for being here this evening. Thank you to Kilimanjaro Restaurant for providing our wonderful dinner and dessert. Uh, and we're going to begin with national anthems. much you may be seated so our first speaker this evening is going to be a great supporter of our organization from the very beginning the chair of our board dr. Hamdi El Sawaf hello everyone good evening in the name of God Allah most gracious and most merciful the cherisher and the sustainer of the whole universe I greet all of you with the greeting of Islam, Assalamu alaikum. Peace, mercy, and blessings of God with all of you. I'm really thankful and grateful to God Almighty for this wonderful gathering. And I should be thankful and grateful to all of you coming tonight uh, to have a wonderful dinner with us and to enjoy wonderful time with us. And in the meantime, to support the Somali American Parent uh, Association. Um, you might be wondering how many years we have been in board today. Uh, the Saba uh, Somali American Parent Association was established back to 08. So we're commemorating the eighth year uh, tonight. And of course, you know, uh, 
you would like to know uh, who we are, though many of you uh, know uh, who we are. Uh, let me share with you, though you do have that wonderful, colorful, uh, very well done uh, printout, uh, it does have uh, the mission. So the SABA promotes the empowerment of Somali youth, parents, and African communities in Minnesota through a holistic approach to service that include education, community engagement, and advocacy. And of course, some people would say, why that organization? Do we need uh, such an organization? Uh, let me share with you my thought. Uh, and, and this is what I believe in uh, wholeheartedly. If you'd like to establish a nation in the best way ever, put a lot of emphasis in education. Education is the key, no matter what. And we look around, not only to the United States of America, but some other nations around us. Uh, when I still remember, uh, there was a debate, uh, where are we, uh, United States of America, in terms of education? And it was actually the direction of former President Reagan to find out what we're doing in education. Because at that time, they were thinking how the Japanese are doing, how some other European countries are doing, in order to compare what the United States is doing as well. But it was really shocking to the American administration at that time to find out that the United States is not ranked as number one in education. So that's why the, rep the report came up with that huge title since that time, A Nation in crisis, meaning we're not doing really well in education, in whatever the aspect is. So that's why one of the main reasons when we took upon ourselves as board and staff and parents and supporters to have such an organization, Somali American Parent Association, to capitalize in our kids the future of this country and capitalize in their education, but mainly to have parents heavily in, heavily involved in, the, uh, in their kids' education. And this is what SABA has been doing for a while. Let me welcome all of you again. I really appreciate your coming. And I wish I know your names one by one to recognize all of you, to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. And thank you from the board of SABA as well as uh, the staff. But two people I have to mention by names, uh, Senator Adler, and uh, uh, Ziad uh, Ali in the Board of Education there. And uh, to recognize the organization in general, this is my duty to introduce the uh, board members uh, to you. Uh, we do have wonderful, great people volunteering to uh, the success of this wonderful organization. Forget about me at the chair. You don't have to worry about it. We do have uh, the treasurer, uh, Jamal Abukor. Please stand up whenever I, I, I mention your name. Uh, Secretary Trudy Solomon, <laughs> member uh, Deborah Jane, another member Shukri Hassan, and another member uh, Dahabu uh, Kolein and David uh, Shushman uh, there, and Fatima Hassan. Please stand up. Our board members, thank you. Really appreciate your effort and your energy. We cannot forget our staff. They are really, really working so hard in the organization. Our executive director, Ustaz Muhammad, please stand up. <laughs> and the administrative director, Lauren. There she is. And the grants and development manager, Pruk. Barber, she is not here, but we really appreciate what she has been uh, doing. And the accounts, Hassan Farah is not there today. He's doing a good job in our accounting system. The community engagement specialist, Asma Pulau, goes around here. All right. And uh, parent family engagement specialist, Faiza Mahmoud. There she is. 
and uh, program assistant and site coordinator, Nadira Mahmoud, sitting back there, and youth program coordinator, Katie Colhan, you, and MSW uh, intern, uh, Becca Schultz. The staff, along with the board of directors, along with the parents, and along with your help and support, have been making this organization successful. That's why I want to invite you tonight. We need your help. We need your support. We need your blessings. This would be one of the best investment ever you can have. Again and again, thank you so much. I really appreciate your coming and enjoy the rest of the night. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. One day, <coughs> I went to an event in the synagogue. Um, the rabbi said, do I tell you the secret why all the world has been taken that we have been treated bad in the, in, uh, in the Holocaust? So everybody said yes. It was a big crowd. He said, we have to say, everybody, every rabbi, every professor, every politician, every uh, spokesman or lady, we have to repeat again and again, there was a Holocaust. So that's why we take. The reason I gave you that story is, whether you hear this story coming, we will say again and again and again. The story is why, how SAPA informed, uh, was formed, and why. And it was, uh, one day I was uh, teaching in Edison High School, and I had a call from uh, one of the suburb, uh, suburban school where my kid goes, and they said, if you don't come now, your kid is coming to, not coming to school again. I rushed, I went there, and I met three people, teacher, assistant principal, and a counselor. And they said, they, your, your child has failed four subjects. Ironically, one of the four subjects that he failed, I was teaching 15 minutes ago. <laughs> and he got a, a deep, blah, 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 see, so, when I said, he didn't kill anybody? No. All right, I asked them when I said that, well, this time, what's the time, do you know the date? And it was April 27. And I said, How, you, you can imagine the number of days left for the school. Anyhow, that means they didn't do their job. I wouldn't dare, while I was teaching, I wouldn't dare to call somebody as uh, April 7, April 27, for a parent to tell the performance of his or her kid. It happened. So I came to know that because of the name, Muhammad Mahmoud, Mahmoud, Muhammad Mahmoud, because that, the assum their assumption was Somebody who cannot read and write and don't, don't care whether the kid dies, uh, uh, you know, fails or not. To tell you that up to today, that kid is having the problem. That's the reason why we established this organization. From that day, we proceeded and we went to the state office and we established it. From that day, we have been trying hard and hard in order to work for the, the mother, which I imagined when they were talking to me. A mother of eight kids, doesn't speak any English, 
doesn't do anything, uh, doesn't com com commute the city, don't have a car, single mom, who was the person helping us. So that's the mother we help. After that eight years of today, we work it hard and organize it as successful stories and su successful work for this organization. I don't hesitate to say today, uh, <coughs> that including the new programs and the partners and the hard work and the progress I don't hesitate to say it is one of these big organizations led by Somals in Minnesota. <laughs> we, we fulfilled our oath, we helped the kids and the parents and what we're gonna show you the outcome of our uh, production. Thanks to the great staff we have and thanks to a wonderful, most educated board we had. So, and what you can see I think when you have been hearing the names of the staff, you can see that it's blended with different colors, different religions, and different cultures. So they work with their beliefs, and again, all of them, they believe the Somali mom. All of them, they help the Somali mom. So those are the stuff. The other, other recognitions, we will, I will come back, and you will see what we're going to do about it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed. And we're going to continue with our programming. Thank you so much for coming. Um, the next speaker I would like to introduce is, um, I admire him, and he's a very humble man, um, refuses to necessarily even for me to recognize him. His name is Saeed Saleh Ahmed. He's a lifetime educator and per, uh, presently teaching at the University of Minnesota. And that's all I'm gonna actually say about him. He can tell more about himself. Salaam alaikum. Nabat 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 kurki naha aha to so beats be upon you. Translates the same in Somali. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so much pleased to participate and witness. Uh, should be the eighth year, the, this anniversary of Saba. <laughs> Why I'm so much pleased with it, I'm saying that uh, about Saba is that um, I witnessed it when it was when it was born and formed, established. Uh, I followed those many years as it was progressing. I haven't read the um, material document of the. Uh, institution on those years to know how it was doing. I was most of the time close to Mohammed Mahmoud, the executive director. So I only watched um, the reflections of his face for those years to know how uh, Saba was doing. And I knew when it was growing, when it was, um, it is first baby steps when crawling from the cradle. I watched his face 
When he was gloomy, when he was smiling, when his face was bright, and from this reflection, I understood how this association was growing day after day. Uh, to answer the jail board, this question, which he answered, if such a, an organization was needed or was very necessary uh, within mostly the Somali, for the Somali community, is I admit, yes, organizations like this Somali American Parent Association are tailored obviously to organize and establish a responding or responding to the need for the community change. And by understanding the challenge to the change, uh, and relating community change to professional practice. This is what Saba was trying to do or is doing within the community uh, as an educational uh, professional organization. It is uniqueness among many other community organizations which uh, uh, focused on service, providing limited service, an institution or an organization like SAVA was so important and necessary for this community. Uh, for it is working for change, as change is fundamental professional role. The institution uh, could raise and raise the awareness for education, uh, which was not thought how necessary it is for this community up to the um, uh, uh, root awareness raising for child development and their role, and their role the focusing on, um, uh, on parents and parenting and parent education, uh, parenting for love and parenting for logic, uh, it was the attempt, as we can see through uh, Saba's programs and educational attempt is to predict social outcomes and the life expectancy even of this community, uh, it is civic engagement and generally the life satisfaction of the community, yes, it is true that uh, it is partners the educators, administrator, policy makers through edu uh, education, there was the possibility or the expectation to improve generally the social status of the community, the community itself, or enhance families to gain access to positive social outcomes, and particularly uh, the individual development of skills. They could affect or did affected policymakers to better address diverse social challenges uh, that they were working on connecting students, families, schools, and communities as they uh, reflect and say. I'm leaving for Saba the uh, for their congratulations for the eight years and to continue what they're doing those eight years and continue further above that reminding 
that our abilities will always be equal to our challenges that they have to perform. And what we need is always within us. It is important. Um, uh, the most important thing is something to begin, to begin. The way to get ahead is to start. And success is that old ABC, as they co said, quoted, the ABC of ability, breakers, and courage. S let Saba go ahead through these educational steps. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Let's give another round of applause for our speaker, Saeed Sala. So Asma and I would like to take just a couple of moments now to give you some updates on our programs from the last year. As we have heard from Mr. Mohammed, from the chair of our board, we have had a tremendous year of growth. And after eight years of hard work, we are very proud. Just in the last year, we nearly doubled the grant money that we bring in to do programs with young people, parents, and to address health concerns in our community. And as we know, we couldn't do that without our wonderful staff, our board of directors, and all of our community supporters. So I personally just want to also extend my gratitude to all of you here tonight, to our staff, to our board. It really takes a team effort, and I'm glad to work with all of you. So many of you probably have seen that we have this new 2015 annual report. So we're just gonna draw your attention to a couple of the highlights of our report. Um, specific to youth programs, we have continued to run youth programs uh, very since the beginning of SAPA, really. And right now we are uh, still partnering with Lincoln International High School and Anderson United Community School, where we're doing after school support in literacy skills and math. Just in the last year, we served 287 young people during out of school time, so that includes after school and during the summer. So we're just really glad to be able to reach that many students. And even though this has been a consistent area of programming for us, it also continues to grow. We're doing some new programs this year um, with focused on STEM skills for middle school students, which is wonderful. Uh, and we have some great new student-led groups <laughs> at Lincoln, which we're also very proud of. Um, so one of the main things that we're actually known for is the parent engagement programs. And um, we got a grant a little while ago um, from the Office of Refugee Resettlement, and we named it Walido in Dahfur, and we have served 256 new arrived parents in the past year, and we held workshops um, that talked about getting acquainted with the school systems, uh, child development, and parent involvement. We have held professional development for 57 educators um, and school administrators. Um, and that's for the parent programs. And we have also recently, in the past year, done a lot of community health work. We had um, a grant from the Department of Health, um, and sorry, Department of Health. Sorry, I'm going way too fast for the slides. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we named it the Somali Mental Health Project, and the focus of that was um, to talk about mental health um, issues or why people don't seek services. We held a conference of, uh, October 1st that we had 143 service providers and community members um, attend. Uh, we was also engaged in conversations with about 220 community members. And that's just a little review of the mental health work we do. So those are the three main areas of programming. We also do a lot of community support work. Primarily, Mr. Mohammed does this. Um, but we were, we were really excited about our year in 2015. And I think many of you were here a year ago when we were giving these updates. And, and so it's really exciting to be back and announcing all of this good news after another year of hard work. 
Uh, so now we are lucky enough to have some of our program participants here to speak with you about their personal experiences in our programs. It is my honor to introduce our next speaker, Zainab Ibrahim, who is a senior at Lincoln International High School, who has been participating in our after school program and student led groups, and she has a bright future ahead of her. So we're really excited to speak with her tonight. Come. <clears throat> Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, <clears throat> uh, thank you uh, for all of you for um, joining us today, um, taking our time off of this Saturday evening. Um, <clears throat> So good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Zainab Ibrahim. I am currently a senior at Lincoln International High School. Throughout my high school uh, career, I've bounced from school to school um, due to the fact that my mother, who was um, a single mother, had to find jobs that would take someone with limited English skills. When I first arrived at Lincoln, I was very nervous <laughs> and a little apprehensive about having to make new friends once again. I'm sure everyone knows how difficult and unwelcoming high school students can be when you're the new kid on the block. To my surprise, I was fortunate enough to be attending a school that had its own unique culture. A culture built on teamwork. I quickly realized I found my safe place. I found a second family. Among that new family was the Somali American Parent Association. SAPA has brought more than just after school programming to my school. They brought a passion to fill all the gaps a charter school just doesn't have the resources to fill. For example, Lincoln. Thank you so much. Let's give another round of applause for our speaker, Saeed Salah. So Asma and I would like to take just a couple of moments now to give you some updates on our programs from the last year. As we have heard from Mr. Mohammed, from the chair of our board, we have had a tremendous year of growth. And after eight years of hard work, we are very proud. Just in the last year, we nearly doubled the grant money that we bring in to do programs with young people, parents, and to address health concerns in our community. And as we know, we couldn't do that without our wonderful staff our board of directors, and all of our community supporters. So I personally just want to also extend my gratitude to all of you here tonight, to our staff, to our board. It really takes a team effort, and I'm glad to work with all of you. So many of you probably have seen that we have this new 2015 annual report. So we're just going to draw your attention to a couple of the highlights of our report. Um, specific to youth programs, we have continued to run youth programs uh, very since the beginning of SAPA, really. And right now, we are uh, still partnering with Lincoln International High School and Anderson United Community School, where we're doing after school support in literacy skills and math. Just in the last year, we served 287 young people during out of school time, so that includes after school and during the summer. So we're just really glad to be able to reach that many students. And even though this has been a consistent area of programming for us, it also continues to grow. We're doing some new programs this year um, with focused on STEM skills for middle school students, which is wonderful. Uh, and we have some great new student-led groups <laughs> at Lincoln, which we're also very proud of. Um, so one of the main things that we're actually known for is the parent engagement programs. And um, we got a grant a little while ago um, for the Office of Refugee Resettlement, and we named it Walido Indahafur, and we have served 256 new arrived parents in the past year, and we held workshops um, that talked about 
getting acquainted with the school systems, uh, child development and parent involvement. We have held professional development for 57 educators um, and school administrators. Um, and that's for the parent programs. And we have also recently, in the past year, done a lot of community health work. We had um, a grant from the Department of Health, um, and sorry, Department of Health. Sorry, I'm going way too fast for the slides. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so we named it the Somali Mental Health Project, and the focus of that was um, to talk about mental health um, issues or why people don't seek services. We held a conference uh, on October 1st that we had 143 service providers and community members um, attend. Uh, we was also engaged in conversations with about 220 community members. And that's just a little review of the mental health work we do. So those are the three main areas of programming. We also do a lot of community support work, primarily Mr. Mohammed does this. Um, but we were, we were really excited about our year in 2015. And I think many of you were here a year ago when we were giving these updates. And then, so it's really exciting to be back and announcing all of this good news after another year of hard work. Uh, so now we are lucky enough to have some of our program participants here to speak with you about their personal experiences in our programs. It is my honor to introduce our next speaker, Zainab Ibrahim, who is a senior at Lincoln International High School, who has been participating in our after school program and student led groups, and she has a bright future ahead of her. So we're really excited to speak with her tonight. Come. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you uh, for all of you for um, joining us today, um, taking our time off of this Saturday evening. Um, <clears throat> So good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Zainab Ibrahim. I am currently a senior at Lincoln International High School. Throughout my high school uh, career, I've bounced from school to school um, due to the fact that my mother, who was um, a single mother, had to find jobs that would take someone with limited English skills. When I first arrived at Lincoln, I was very nervous <laughs> and a little apprehensive about having to make new friends. Once again, I'm sure everyone knows how difficult and unwelcoming high school students can be when you're the new kid on the block. To my surprise, I was fortunate enough to be attending a school that had its own unique culture, a culture built on teamwork. I quickly realized I found my safe place. I found a second family. Among that new family was the Somali American Parent Association. SAPA has brought more than just after school programming to my school. They brought a passion to fill all the gaps a charter school just doesn't have the resources to fill. For example, Lincoln.